I refuse to call him nigga. Because the vision I have for him is so much bigger than a two-syllable word that was created to degrade, destroy, and erase who he is supposed to become as a man. You understand? So I refuse to call him that. I refuse to call him nigga because the future that I envision, envision with him and me so clearly is so much bigger than that word that was meant to strip him of his divinity which is embedded in his DNA. This word that has blocked his memory of his legacy of Ra, Imhotep, and the others who have come before him, standing on strong legs, leading armies, leading, leaving a legacy behind. It flows through you, brother. And when I look at you, you make me want to become a mother. So I refuse to call him nigga. Because when I look at him, what I see is generations of you and me. I see our children, our children's children, and their children. And they ain't niggas. They're smaller, younger empresses, emperors, waiting to take their throne. Because you have led the history that is embedded in them. And they know where they are coming from. They are not coming from a history of change that is not in their brain. Where they are coming from is a history of blackness, greatness, heritage, legacy. So I can't call you a nigga. Because you were not raised to neglect your family. You were not raised to be a breeder as you were bred. You were not raised to sow your seeds wildly and neglect your responsibility. You were raised to stand next to me and I am a queen. So that must make you a king, not a nigga. I refuse to call him nigga because when he stands before me in all of his glory, and I inhale his blackness. Man, the things that this man does to me, no nigga can't handle that. That's something a man does, a black man. So I refuse to call him nigga because the visions that I have for him are so much bigger. And I am ready to stand with you, for you, next to you as we fight the negativity of this world, as we try to throw more positivity into our children, and we will speak it into being together. So for that, my brother, my lover, my husband, my black man, I would never disrespect you and call you a nigga.